There was a bit of a scare there for a while when DC reorganized their entire movie slate, pushing back a lot of movies, some of which they pushed back over a year. But the Black Adam movie did not get rescheduled for release, so people were a little bit concerned in the midst of all of this craziness that has been coronavirus and has been movie industry shutdown that the Black Adam movie may actually be facing a bit of a scrap and will end up not getting this movie after years and years of them teasing us. However, The Rock is a little bit more persuasive, excited, and pumped up in his own words for this movie for that to happen, so I don't think that's anything we need to worry about. In fact, it turns out more than likely that they're just still trying to organize and see how the DC slate will look moving forward, especially with the major moves and changes they made. On that note, we have a report today coming exclusively from the Direct.com talking about a major villain that will be making way into the Black Adam movie. So definitely something to be excited about and something to calm the nerves a little bit about the potential scrapping of the Black Adam movie. We'll cover who this villain is and his role in the movie right now. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, it's Chris, and if you love to stay up to date on all major movie and television news, like DC News, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, we're covering it here on the channel. You can also check me out on Twitter, at TheCultureChris, for real-time updates. So, here's the report from TheDirect.com that says, The Direct has exclusively learned that the DC supervillain Eclipso will make his DCEU debut in Black Adam. Sources indicate that the character will be used to help imprison Black Adam in the film. If you recall back to DC fandom when The Rock narrated a very, very cool opening sequence for Black Adam and we had all that concept art, he talked a little bit about how he had been imprisoned for thousands of years, but now he's released and things will never be the same, and how he was going to change the whole hierarchy of the DC universe and all that really cool information and detail but he was in prison, and it started off by showing us these ancient photos of Black Adam existing in a time well before what we're used to now. Based off of what we are reading in this description by the direct.com, it appears that his original imprisonment will come at the hand of Eclipso, and he can potentially show up later on in the film once he realizes that Black Adam has escaped and is wreaking havoc on the world as we know it, or however The Rock plans on dealing his own way in showing justice in his form. Now, it's very likely that you are not necessarily aware of who Eclipso is, or if you know who he is, you don't know very much about him, as he is more of an obscure character in the DC world. But he can be considered more of a sorcerer than anything, and he has a few separate magical powers. And he has a few different places where he could show up in the future of this DC universe moving forward including the Justice League Society, Shazam, and a few others, because Eclipso is a very, very intense villain, so it would be disappointing for them to introduce him solely to imprison Black Adam in the very beginning of this movie and then never bring him back up. However, this seems like more of an introductory period for the character, who will either later make an appearance in Black Adam, or he will make an appearance in Shazam, in a Justice League Society movie, or so many other opportunities where he has made appearances in the comics, plus he isn't bound by that either, he can make an appearance anywhere they see fit for the character. But there are a lot of options here, and this is a pretty maniacal evil villain who hopefully won't go unnoticed. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard something about Eclipso making an appearance in Black Adam because we'll see in an older version of some concept art, we actually got to see the Heart of Darkness. And it's this stone here, the only one glowing very bright purple here above his shoulder, but there is a relevance to the Heart of Darkness. In the comics, Eclipso actually bonds with the stone, enabling him to have other powers, including transferring his being into another host. So, seeing this stone in the concept art definitely sparked a lot of interest before about the possible entrance of Eclipso into the Black Adam films. Now we're getting this confirmation that he will be coming and he will be responsible for having bound Black Adam. That is all the information we have about his current position in the DC Universe, but that doesn't mean that that is all he's going to be doing. Again, it is possible we'll see him in many different roles. He was an advisor to the Justice League Society. He's also in opposition to the Justice League Society in the comics. Then, of course, also there's the whole Shazam and Black Adam combining to become one superverse idea, and it's possible that this could be the villain that they're going to unite together originally to fight off. And if you think about it, that also makes a lot of sense. Black Adam doesn't come off as one who wants to play ball or join the little Shazam 
Shazamly. He's probably going to be very absent at first, if not a villain against the Shazamly. Eventually, however, this bigger bad guy is going to come. He obviously knows a little bit more about him, seeing that he was the one that was bound by Eclipso, and that might convince him to join the Shazamly, or at least for a fight, get involved and team up with them to take down this big bad. But let me know what you guys think about this news. It was already rumored a little bit that we would be seeing him, but now we're getting a direct report from the direct.com that he will be introduced to the DC Universe in the beginning of the Black Adam film. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched until the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, entertaining, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button as we're covering all major movie and television news right here on Cosmic Culture.